such technologies. We'll also need spectrum efficient policies. And we're asking at the FCC, how can we best accelerate market-based solutions like secondary markets and spectrum flexibility? These strategies are necessary, but not sufficient. The record is clear. America needs more spectrum for mobile internet access. The wireless industry formally called for recovery of 800 megahertz of spectrum. Now our national broadband plan calls for the recovery of a smaller number, 500 megahertz of spectrum over the next 10 years from multiple private and government users across the spectrum chart. Certainly not limited to, but including broadcast spectrum. So what about broadcast spectrum? Some have suggested, you probably read them, that all 300 megahertz now allocated to broadcasting should be reclaimed at auction. Others take the view that the status quo is fine. No change is needed. The broadband plan recommends neither course. Instead, it lays out a well-balanced plan designed to be a win-win-win for broadcasters, mobile internet providers, and the American people. It proposes voluntary incentive auctions a process for sharing with broadcasters a meaningful part of the billions of dollars of value that would be unlocked if some broadcast spectrum was converted to mobile broadband. The plan would give broadcasters the choice to contribute their license spectrum to the auction and participate in the upside. The plan would give broadcasters the option of channel sharing. For example, a broadcaster could, could contribute half of its capacity and share spectrum with another broadcaster in the market, continuing to broadcast their primary programming streams and more, while lowering their operating expenses and gaining infusions of capital. The large majority of broadcasters may well be uninterested in this choice, and that is completely fine as far as the plan is concerned. But why should a broadcaster who sees benefit in sharing spectrum, be denied the opportunity to take it. Why shouldn't we seek to find sensible strategies consistent with the public interest to bring more market-based incentives to broadcast spectrum? Now, by the way, the incentive option proposal in the broadband plan would apply to all bands of spectrum, not just broadcasting. It's a creative 21st century policy idea for wise and efficient spectrum policy. Now, a lot has been said and written about this auction proposal, including at this show, that just isn't accurate. Let me make four points about incentive auctions as applied to broadcasters and dispel four myths. One, these auctions are voluntary, period. Participation is up to the licensee and no one else. Two, for the plan to work, we don't need all, most, or even very many licensees to participate. If a relatively small number of broadcasters in a relatively small number of markets share spectrum, our staff believes we can free up a very significant amount of bandwidth. And rural markets would be largely unaffected by the recommendations in the broadband plan because the spectrum crunch will be most acute in our largest population centers. Point three, we anticipate mechanisms to reduce or even eliminate risk and maximize upside for broadcasters that elect to participate in the auction. For example, the plan could allow broadcasters to set a reserve auction price below which their licenses wouldn't transfer. The mechanism could lock in a payment for broadcasters while allowing for participation and upside above that level. Four, auction rules and mechanisms will be developed through an open and transparent process with ongoing dialogue about the best design mechanisms for incentive auctions, focusing on what will actually work and meet the country's needs. And some,